This tutorial is about how to actually do the physical links after you have already watched this specific tutorial, which is you need links to succeed, and you understand the concept of links, you understand that you need to do them on a continuous, weekly, even daily basis, and you also have your anchor text ready, so you read the tutorial and understand it, the understanding link anchor text tutorial and now you're ready to physically start doing links. So what I'm going to be showing in, in this video is how I would do this specific task. So the first step is you need to find your competitors for the anchor text that you want to rank for. Usually the top 10 competitors, it's probably not even usually, it's all the time, they participate in link exchanges. So once we find out who your competitor is, and obviously if he holds one of the top five positions we definitely want to use his link partners so I'm gonna go and type in the term wood dash because I want to rank for the term wood dash trim kits and we have the number one guy he's wood dash dot com so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the website called backlinkwatch.com there's uh, different kinds of softwares that you can use shopping cart elite will be releasing its own SEO version of the software to do this task but this is a free website backlinkwatch.com you can basically type in anybody's website in here and what it will show you is how many links they have who their link partners are what anchor tags they're using and if the link has a follow or no follow link so here we see that this specific website has 513 links this means that we need to have more than 513 links to rank above him. But that's not necessarily that we need all 513 links because if he has the term wood dash X amount of times, we only need to outnumber the amount of links that he has for the term wood dash. So something like www.wooddash.com, we don't necessarily count that as uh, something that we need to outrank as far as the number of links. Because the anchor text is a little tricky, he has wood dash and his website happens to be wood dash dot com, Google might give credit to the fact that wood dash with no spaces is an anchor text and give credit for the term wood space dash. But for example, if he's ranking for wood dash trim kits, we only need to outnumber the term wood dash trim kits X amount of times. So if he has four of these links, we need to have five and we'll be above him. So let's take a look at some of his link partners. Now, usually, if you see an anchor text, which is not a website, something like Wood Dash or something like Wood Dash Kids, that usually means that that's a link partner or he's advertising on their website. If you look on some of the ending URLs, for example, there's a form here, so he's uh, putting his link on the forms. We have a video here called Unlimited Links which basically talks about doing forum links as well so you can replicate what he did on these forms using that tutorial now I'm gonna keep scrolling down and what I'm looking for is the term that says links and that he's linking with some kind of an anchor text so take a look at this we have ptcruiser.com links ID 79 so what this tells me is that this is a link exchange page. It looks like he took that page off and redirected it to his product page. That's one of the things you need to watch out for, that sometimes you will add your link to somebody's website and they'll just remove it right afterwards. So let's just look at a few other ones here. So we have uh, truck links and we see that he's putting a bunch of websites here. Usually there's two ways of requesting a link exchange, either an automated way through the website or emailing them through their physical contact us. So here it says add your truck related URL or business banner. So we just click here and it's very straightforward. It says, you know, just ask them permission and they'll put it in. Now a lot of times they're not going to link with you unless you link with them first. So in this case since he's encouraging me to actually submit my link exchange to him, this tells me that he's definitely going to link back to me. So I might as well and do some of the work ahead of time and 
put his link on my website so there's you know no questions asked and he'll just add my link so we go to store management outbound links we end up here we just transferred the store over so I'm setting this up from scratch I'm just gonna set up a new category I'm gonna call it truck parts and we'll just save so I'm gonna say new truck parts and I'm just gonna take his information usually what I do is I just go to their unless they tell me what text to use I use it otherwise if they don't tell me anything I usually use either the title of their website sometimes they tell me to change that then just put something truck parts and accessories and here's the reciprocal link which is the place where theoretically my link is supposed to show up so I'm going to put reciprocal link now since I click here this he tells me to click here to submit my link I'm gonna put this into my submission URL you definitely always always want to keep your reciprocal link and sometimes you might leave it blank for uh, record keeping so you will know that anything that does not have a reciprocal link you need to go and double check if, if the link is there or not so you don't have to put it in right away one of the things that you might want to do is make sure the reciprocal link is always there regardless we will have an enhancement in Shopping Core Lead which will periodically go to your reciprocal links, check if your link is there or not, and then activate and deactivate the link accordingly. So the task that you normally do manually will be automated, but at this time, which is October 3rd, 2010, this task is not automated yet. So either way, you can either put the reciprocal link here or leave it blank and then come back to it later and check then so I don't have his email address sometimes if they provide an email address I'll just put it in just for the sake of uh, having their email in case I need to follow up so I don't have to go there, to their website again and yeah that doesn't look like he's providing that to me so I'm just gonna say I, I forgot to put his URL Okay, it says that you have to have an email. All right, so we'll just put no email at no email .com for now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this link now. And you can watch the tutorial, link exchanges, creating categories, approving, rejecting links. These tutorials tell you how to actually do the work. Now, as soon as I did that, this link will show up on the website. It might not show up immediately. It might take half an hour because the page is indexed but let me just go and see maybe it's there already yep okay so it's there and you know if I click on it it goes to his website so basically I copy and paste this whole thing and I'm gonna say that I have added your link to my website please add a link to my website thanks your link is here I would like my link to be and usually you have to have something here already your reciprocal link information so you can just copy and paste it just like that and we'll just put in our real information here and that's it we'll press submit comments looks like his uh, automated form is not working let's try please report details to the site's webmaster please see the server system log for more details <laughs> okay that was a little uh, pointless maybe I think I know why this is happening the message might be too long let me just get rid of this and just tell him to link mine with uh, with auto accessor store I already added your link let me see if it goes through yeah it looks like it's not even going through so I guess we'll have to skip that I mean this will happen periodically when websites don't uh, maintain themselves but 
basically you get the idea you go to these random pages and you check obviously if it says links that means that they're automatically going to link with you because that's what you know that's why they have a links page see it says to add a link click here and uh, click here to create an account okay can't create an account it could become annoying obviously if but you have to have patience and definitely try to do your three to five links a day so even if it takes you an hour to get it accomplished between all the different link partners it will be worth it at the end and most importantly once you get all your link partners in line the next website you do will not be as uh, painful so let's see what it says here so they have different links they just submit a link okay auto so I'm gonna just copy need to make sure that you scroll up and down check every little detail of where they might have anything about linking and if there is nothing there then you email them so I'm gonna just say that this is for interior submit <clears throat> has been submitted for inclusion on the links page it's not an automatic copy each site is, it's, is checked for validity as to whether or not it should be added okay so th that was easy and one of the things that you want to do is just because they gave you a free one-way link does not mean that you shouldn't link back to them we're gonna go over that in a minute but let me just add them anyway I think this is like a form or something just put them in anyway notice what I'm doing I'm, I'm actually since they told me not to include any specific link I'm just gonna include their links page where my link is supposed to show up and I'll tell you why I'm doing that in a minute no email and this is a twin turbo so there's two reasons why number one is obviously so you can check later to make sure they link to you and if not you can contact them by email if necessary and number two reason I will tell you in a moment now let's say that some of them don't have a automated link form for whatever reason let me just scroll through some of them and see if I can find I think this one is gonna be good and notice that it says no follow no follow means that that link is not giving you a lot of credit but nonetheless you know you need it it's not gonna be, it's not a bad thing to have a no follow link definitely doesn't hurt it's not 100 percent clear how Google treats it but it, it doesn't hurt to have one okay so I found one of the links it's uh, this ca.dsm.org I click on here and basically they're saying these are the links that have been gathered from various sources for use by club members all are automotive related, some are DSM related, if link goes dead or if you'd like to suggest a link please let us know so in other words this is they're telling you to email them that's the only way you can do this and you know it's actually uh, going to an email address so what do you do when it comes to emails I basically went on Google and typed in link exchange emails and there's this blog post on how to identify good ones and bad ones and basically he's saying what to watch out for they don't address you by name they try to create confidence they give you specific details to a link blah 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 and so on here's you know what a good link exchange is here's what he's suggesting as the perfect link exchange email so you can pause the video and just uh, read what he wrote but the bottom line is you want to keep it short you don't want to educate anybody on why they need to do links with you if, if they don't know you know why they need links on their website then just ignore them there is enough websites that do know why they need links to rank so you'll have enough link partners to uh, link exchange with don't conduct a two paragraph essay or a, an essay in general to try to explain why you want to link uh, I usually try to keep it as a one or two sentence email just literally saying hey do you want a link exchange here's my website or just tell them you know here's my website and what my page rank is if you're a new website and you have no page rank and you're just started out you, you might want to keep that out 
just tell them, hey, I have a really good website that's automotive relevant and I'd like to link with you. Some people will email you back and saying, hey, we're competitors. Why would I link with you? Like I said, if they don't understand the concept of links, just ignore them, move on. Uh, you're going to waste your time trying to educate them. But basically, keep it short. He, he gave me the email address, so I'll just go ahead and shoot him an email real quick. Best thing would be is to obviously add his website link. I am interested in having my link added to your web page. Now, keep in mind that you know some webmasters are your competitors, so you don't want to talk about anything as far as uh, trying to work together, but this guy this looks like a form, you know, he's saying this is a for club members links. So, I'm going to add something saying telling him let me know if you mind adding me. I would also be interested in helping your club members by giving you a private coupon code that your members can use to get wholesale prices from my website. My website name is if you don't mind I would like the anchor text to be car accessories and dash trim kits. So car accessories is one of the keywords I want to rank for and I, you know not to look like a spammer I just made a personal email to him and I'm sure he'll reply to it. So the bottom line is that you want to make sure if you email them keep it relevant no copying and pasting the same message unless uh, of course that message is relevant by you know having your two sentence email asking for a link partnership it's always best to already have their link on your website unless uh, they're offering you a one-way link in this case this is a one-way link they're actually saying you know we'll give credit to some websites they don't need to give us credit back so this is how you email these uh, links now let me just go back real quick and I mentioned that this website has 513 backlinks you do you might notice that some URLs are coming from the same domain even though you know they're the same uh, anchor text the question might be can I have a credit for more than one link if it's coming from the same domain the answer is yes you can have as many links as you want from a certain domain name and as long as the anchor text is different so this might say wood dash trim kids the other one might say car accessories Google will give you credit for both of those anchor texts even though they're coming from the same domain. So if you can find a partner who would be willing to do multiple links with your website, sometimes I don't even ask, I just uh, try to link back to the same people I linked before and I try to link uh, with them again you know, in a few months and they usually don't check and they just link with me. So you can get multiple anchor texts or keywords ranked for your website using the same link partners over and over again for the same website. But this one has 513 and you know your question might be how long is it going to take for me to to get up there? So next thing we want to look at is you know, the number 5 guy. How many links does he have? So you know we'll take this guy here. Check his backlinks and if you notice it's only 198 so to get to the top five you just need over 200 links it's very simple to find you know 200 link partners it's really not that uh, difficult you know the bottom line is that uh, you can do like three to five links on a daily basis every time you have to change your anchor text that could be slightly but it has to be different every time otherwise you're gonna create a pattern for yourself I went over that in, in the previous uh, video so we got a few more things to cover if you have a link list that you can import from your other websites or if uh, we gave you one you can do so 
through a link importing. So I'm going to just import my master link list, which is over 800 link partners. And uh, let me make a new category for it. So you just imported 828 links for me. And, uh, you know, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm not going to activate all of them because that's going to look, you know, like red flag. All of a sudden you have so many links going out of your website and none of them are organized. You know, you obviously, as you link them uh, back and forth, you want to, uh, you know, go to modify and organize them in the appropriate category. But basically I, I put them all in here and now uh, I can, you know, let's say, sort them by submission URL. So to save myself some time, I'm going to basically go through all of the submission URLs first and do them. And then I'm going to start doing the emailed ones. So just from the, you know, submission URLs, I have, you know, probably close to 200 link partners just from there. So if I have a new website or if, if that specific link partner allows me to do more than one link exchange, I can get to the top five for wood dash kits in less than 30 days. And, you know, I have 828 links here. So it's just a matter of time before I hit the number one position. And it's really that simple. But obviously I did the research, you know, I have an 828 link partner list and, you know, we grow it every day. You might start with zero, but that's how I built mine, you know, using uh, Backlink Watch. Uh, there is other softwares that you can use for research, but Backlink Watch is free and it's uh, very useful. I use it all the time. Usually it's not very good to share these master lists because, again, because of pattern reasons. So even though I would love to share this list with everyone, it's not good for everyone, meaning that if everyone is going to link to the same link partners, eventually Google will catch on and devalue those links. So it's good to have your own link partners. And obviously, if you're just having problems finding them for whatever reason, like I said, you shouldn't really have problems considering there's this backlink watch tool. But if you do have problems, I can give you some of the links from my list. I'm not going to give you all of them just so you can have a head start. Definitely find your own first because I don't want you to start with mine and then you completely forget about doing your own. So this is, you know, the basic idea and how it works. You can either manually add links one by one, like I showed you earlier, or you can import this list. Now, how do we guarantee that the link, let me just go to this website. I'm going to actually delete his link since his website failed to add mine. But let's say that this specific website, right? the one that we did together. He hasn't linked me yet, but let's say that he has. Let's say the link is there now. So I can open reciprocal link and, you know, I scroll in here and let's say, you know, my, my link is found. Now, just because he added my link to his site does not mean that I'm going to get credit from Google for it because you'll be surprised Google does not index all link pages, especially when there is just so many links coming out of them. There's a few things that you can do, and this is basically when it, where it comes down. I was mentioning earlier, make sure you put the reciprocal link. The reason why is because we're going to have all reciprocal links along with regular URLs on your website. So Google can find this link and this link when they go to the websites because the more likely that Google finds the reciprocal link, they'll honor all the links in the page. Sure, they'll give credit to your competitors, but you're one of the guys there. So yeah, you're helping everybody else, but you're really helping yourself. You definitely want Google to find this page and index it if you want to get credit for it. You'll be surprised. You can do 300 links. Does not mean that you're going to get score for all 300. You might get score. Usually it's like half, maybe less than half. So for every two links you do, only one counts. You know, sometimes it's less if you have bad links. But here's a few tricks on on what you can do. Obviously, you can take a reciprocal link and go to all of your one-way link partners or your own websites and add it there. The next thing you can do is you can go to a website called it's icerocket.com. You click on RSS Builder. 
I already have an account here. You can sign up for one. You create channel. You're going to say cool automotive sites. For the channel link, doesn't really matter, but we'll just put this website here. And the channel description, we'll just leave uh, cool automotive sites. Save. Okay. So look what happened here. We have this RSS feed. What it is is, well, I guess let me do one entry and I'll publish it and I'll show you what, what this means. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, twin turbo. I'm basically copying my, my link information from here to Ice Rocket. And I'm not using his homepage URL, I'm using his link where my link is located. Turbo parts. Save item. Okay, so let's say uh, I have this and uh, I'm going to publish this. So it basically gave me a URL, which is right here. So if I go to this URL, look what happens. This is like a RSS feed. It's sort of like having your own. It's like, it's like Twitter, I guess. Okay. You can theoretically do this with Twitter, but it doesn't matter really, but you know, this is more useful because this is RSS. So if you click read more, you basically go to his website. So you might ask like, why, what, what is the point? Like, why am I trying to rank this guy's website? Well, you're not trying to rank his homepage. You're trying to rank his link page where your link is located. The more authority this specific page gets, the more page rank it gets transferred the more of everything it gets transferred from all over the internet, the more score you will get. Yes, your competitors will get it as well, whoever is listed here, but you know you will get it as well, so it's good. So the whole goal of adding, you know, you want to add your whole link list here. Don't add like your whole partner list because then you're just going to give it away. But you can do like, you know, 10, 15 links at a time or, you know, up to 50. And then you take this URL here doesn't have to say feed, it could be just HTTP, it just gets transferred to feed automatically, but you know, you can just use this as a URL. And what you want to do is you want to link exchange this URL, which will in exchange, once that URL ranks, Google will find all of the internal links which are inside. So the whole goal is for you to add your link list here and then rank this specific URL so all of your link partners can get higher rank on their links page from Google and you'll benefit from it. So this is one way. The second way is, you know, adding the link, like another link to your own website with a specific anchor text and having his reciprocal link instead of his URL. Sometimes you can put the reciprocal link instead of his URL, but sometimes they complain because of that. And the third thing you can do, which is like guaranteed that it's going to, you know, let, let's say you, you check your webmaster tools and a certain web page is just not being accounted for as a score for one of the links and you know it's there for sure. You can just start an RSS feed on your own website, on your own homepage, do a new post. You can theoretically rank, you know, your own link here. So you can say cool websites, cool auto websites and this is going to be the URL and you do cool websites okay save and then if you're going to go to your own store it's going to take a little bit uh, to refresh but basically you have your own post RSS feed on the home page and when you click on it you know it's going to have the message here which points to that feed and because Google definitely 100% visits your homepage, especially after you start participating with link exchanges, they're going to find this link, which in return will find all of those link partners, which in return will, you know, index and rank your site because you have the link from them pointing to you. There's a downside to posting a, a new link partner every time in here. And you don't have to post the RSS feed. You can even post the link partner's website. It, you know, it's on your home page. It's on your news feed. You might actually lose the visitor when they read your news and click on it who might have bought something from you. And also, every time you have an outbound link coming out of your 
website, you're leaking page rank and link score with internally from your website. So if you're going to outbound someone constantly from your homepage, this is like your primary page rank, primary authority on your homepage. You're constantly leaking your internal linking power, which will devalue some of your links internally. Like, you know, if this link points to a category and then to a product because you keep leaking the linking power to somebody else from the homepage, this doesn't get as high of a score as it can. And that's one of the reasons why you dig the links in such a deep level on your website. So, you, you know, from the homepage, you click on links. And then from here, there's a setting which you have to click on, on a category in order to get here. I believe it's on store management settings, you can set that up. You know, if you have a lot of links, you definitely don't want to display all of them the way I have it here where you have a category and links right away, you have to click on a category in order to get the next page. So the more layers you have going down to get to the link, which is going to leave the website, the better it is for your website internally. Uh, some you know webmasters don't like that, that you're doing that because they get less authority from your link. And sometimes Google doesn't even find that link because of that. What you're trying to do here with Ice Rocket and putting a reciprocal link on the home page is try to build up that score elsewhere because the owner of the website on the home page, he's building score for his home page and he's digging the links deep down in a bunch of different sub layers. So he's not doing the work for you. He's not ranking his link page so you can get better score. You know, he's just getting your link to his home page. So you need to go in and help him rank his link page, which will benefit you, not even him. He's not going to get that much benefit out of it. You'll get most benefit out of it. And finally, the last thing, I had a question which basically said, uh, you know, how do you keep track of everything? And, and if you're outsourcing it to, you know, a worker in Philippines, how do you maintain that they do the work and so on? So I use Google Docs. I basically put down the anchor text, the URL, the description, and the reciprocal link where the link is going to be located. So I basically import the link list that I already have because it, it just takes too long for them to figure it out on their own how to find uh, a new link partner. So it just it's faster for me to find them, uh, make it once, and then just share them the link list. So I automatically import the reciprocal links, activate them so they're already on the website activated. This is the link information that I tell the worker to submit. And then I, I basically tell the worker, okay, this is the website. There is either an email or there is a submission URL that you need to go to. And I, you know, I say do five links today for this website. And, you know, when you, if you need to email them, this is you tell them that the link is located here already. If you do a submission, tell them that the link is located here already. If they're asking you what to link to or with, this is the information you give them. And tell me, you know, when you did the work and then go back to the website a few days later, see if the link is showing up there or not. And basically, I have them do like 50, 100 websites on a daily basis and kind of bang them all out. And uh, I'm using this master link list to import into the websites. And I'm basically making the anchor text for them. So I'm doing most of the work, but the actual work of going and submitting the links and waiting for replies and this and that, uh, they do all that work for me. You know, once you can afford to hire someone like that, you can contact us. We'll, we'll give you a reliable worker that can do it for really uh, inexpensive and do that task for you once you know you can afford it and once you have the master link list so i hope you understand how links work and why you need them and how to do them get started and uh, just keep doing it on a daily basis and uh, you can use that uh, website the backlink watch to check how many links you need to get a number one position and don't stop until you're happy with the you know where you are in the rankings you know sometimes number one position is a little hard because uh, whoever is uh, sitting there, you know, knows what you know, and you know they know that they need to have the most links than anybody else, and they might be doing it for years already, so they have a pretty big head start. But many people, you know, once they get to the top position, they give them some, you know, ball, some room, so nobody can just knock them out from the top position after one link, 
and then they start on the next keyword. This is basically what you will be doing. You will uh, rank for one keyword, you'll put another 10, 20 links on top of it, and then you'll stop and you'll continue with the next keyword because you know, you're already number one for this keyword. There's no reason to continue ranking it. But one thing to keep in mind is never stop ranking for that keyword. Just because you're number one, does that mean that some other guy is not gonna come tomorrow and outrank you? You know, when this whole algorithm came out, People were fighting. He, somebody did two links, they, they became number one, they stopped working on it. To get to, to three links is not hard. Same thing here. To get to 500 links, it's, you know, it's time, but it's not hard. Getting to 30,000 links, that's a whole different story. But again, if you have that link list, it's not hard. You got to you know, keep track of your money-making keywords. So whatever makes you the most money, and because you're in a certain position, you got to make sure you stay there. And once you start your link campaign, don't stop. When, you know, once you are happy with your traffic, once you're happy with your ranking and how much money you're making, you got to make an autopilot of your ranking and make sure that on a consistent basis somebody is doing links for you. Otherwise, you're going to lose ground uh, just a matter of time. Thanks, and if you have any questions, contact us at shoppingcardily.com.